Hello, comrades! Welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. My name, of course, is Obr Potato. Hello. How's it going? Welcome back to Turistovsky. Welcome back to... Oh my god, I can't even remember the name of this place. Kolovsky Sky Ski Ski? Yes, that's the place. That's it. Anyway, welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I uh, we are in November. The temperatures are starting to get rather chilly, which is um, you know, very very worrying, uh, in fact, very 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 worrying indeed. What is the issue here? Uh construction has stopped, and that is presumably because we have run out of pavers. Do we not have do we not have enough pavers? We did have one. I wonder if we had to sell that paver. Uh or perhaps maybe we never had a paver to begin with. Let's see if we can try and buy a paper, shall we? Let's let's freaking do it. Okay, as we usually do, we're just sort of addressing. We're addressing the. Is it? Is it? We'll buy that. Sure, buy that, and then buy a paper as well. Two pavers. Two pavers. Okay, we're addressing a couple of a couple of outstanding issues. You know, with the. With the with the state of the with the state of the, the the nation, so we're gonna get that fixed up. We're gonna see if we can sign that over there. Maybe that will, maybe that will give us the paver. What are we looking for? We should be looking for a paver here. Anyway, yes. Welcome back. Welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. What are we gonna be doing today? I'm very very glad you asked. Um. So of course, last episode, we uh, we managed to pretty successfully. I say pretty successfully. We managed successfully to get our coal power plant up and running. It's not perfectly optimal yet. This area needs uh, quite a lot of, I would say, quite a lot of additional infrastructure, perhaps, to make it properly work. Uh, infrastructure and also people. It needs it needs workers. It needs workers. There's there's not many workers. There's not many workers at the moment. People can't participate in sports. Uh, I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Hospital hospital is another matter. Uh, the hospital is is not going to be. It's not going to be available for most people, but that's 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 not a problem. Anyway, the point that I'm trying to make is that we need to really consistently get people, uh, you know, being delivered to this bus station over here so that they can come to work in the coal power plant, uh, as of course, as of course we expect them to, and as we expect them to hopefully give us power. Yeah, look at this. These this is just wowzers. We are we are taking. We are just lo we are losing workers like there's no tomorrow. Oh, it's starting to snow. Okay, all right. Well, that's that's yikesy. Let me see if I can try and import a couple of extra workers. That's going to be the first workers that I think that I've properly imported. I might have done uh, a couple of additional workers here and uh, here and again here and now, but uh, but that's 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 it. Okay. Um, can we let this snow wall land, please? I don't know. I don't know what it does for the bit rate. I suspect that it probably may look a little bit uh, a little bit. A little bit bad on your screen. I don't know if it's going to be snowing for the entirety of winter. Frankly, this is the first time. This is the first time that winter has hit me. This is the literally the first time that winter has hit me. And I don't even... Uh... Oh, look, there we go. The snowing is completely stopped. Excellent. That's really, really great news because uh, I was a little bit... I was a little bit worried that, that perhaps that would be a problem. Uh, right, so what do we need to... What do we need to do during winter? Well, I know for a fact that we need to get the technical services out and about. I believe that buses and uh, and vehicles can still drive, which is of course fine, uh, but it's it's uh, they're able to drive much quicker, much quicker if uh, we'll put asphalt roads up. There we go. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Uh, they're able to drive much much quicker if we are, if we're able to plow the roads first. Now, 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 we've actually got. We've actually got two different types of snow plows that we have access to. Wowzers, the contrast really does completely change, doesn't it? Uh, let's change the... Uh, okay, the the Bat M definitely is a snow plow. It definitely should work as a snow plow, and yet it's uh, it can't be reassigned to the technical services area. Cool. Well, let's buy like a couple of different snow plows. I don't really know. We'll have to we'll have to have a little look at the effectiveness of each of these. And we'll see, we'll see how it happens. Looks like this is a fair bit faster. I mean, that is, that is what the video game is telling me. Snow plowing speed is 60, is 23 kilometers per hour, but the snow, uh, the snow plowing speed of this is 52 kilometers per hour. This is more expensive, so maybe I should just go for it. Yeah, you know what, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. The Bat, the Bat M snow plow, the modded snow plow that I've got installed, let's go for that. It does cost a fairly significant amount of money. 
but uh, but that's fine. I really like this. I really like this mechanic, actually. It's very, very cool indeed. We're probably going to need to plonk down an additional... An additional snowplow... It's not called a snowplow uh, thing, is it? It's called a technical services. Technical services station. We'll plonk one down just in the middle here, in the middle of nowhere, and we will actually build that. 31,000 rubles. It's a fairly significant investment, but it's probably worth doing to make sure that we are able to, uh, you know, keep all of our roads, keep all of our roads clear. Because otherwise, I mean, otherwise stuff like this happens where the buses just take like 20 minutes to reach the, the coal power plant. Man, my eyes are having like a really difficult time adjusting to this snow. Like the contrast is very, very high. <laughs> the contrast is ludicrously high. The snow looks really good, though. Don't get me wrong. There's just a heck of a lot of light coming off that snow, if you know what I mean. Anyway, buildings without a power supply, I don't think that's going to matter. Uh, dirt roads, look, dirt roads are, are, you know, bottom of the priority list. They, they really are not very important at all. They really are not very important at all. And working range needs to be, probably needs to be increased to about 2,000. Yeah, we'll keep that at about 2,000 meters, actually. Yeah, I think that that's fine. This has been bumped up to 3,000, and even that, to be honest... Yeah, even that, I think I'll... I'll keep it 2,000. I'll keep it I'll keep it at 2,000. I think 2,000... 2,000 meters probably gets the job done for, for most things. I wonder if that's going to be enough snow plows, and I wonder how long it's going to take for the snow to fall back on the, uh, back on the roads again. I have... I have absolutely no idea. Building temperature is too low. This is this is a this is a bit of a problem. This is a bit of a problem. Temperature and building is too low. We are supposedly having issues. Um, I think it's gotta be it's gotta be to do with distance. A hundred percent, it has to be to do with distance. Uh, I have I have resigned myself to the fact that that is the reality. Now, wowzers, the lighting is just going absolutely crazy. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, okay, we got a, a procession of snowplows. They're all probably just... Pl Maybe we should drive in front of the road vehicle. How about that? How about that? That would be a great idea. Anyway, I mean, look, this was just a, a seven-minute diversion from chatting about what I really want to focus on today, which is actually the establishment of um, of the oil, the oil Town Trio, uh, which needs a much more Soviet name. If you have a Soviet name, if you have a suggestion uh, for what we can for what we can call the Oil Town Trio, uh, the the three towns of well, they're horribly named at the moment, but I want to consolidate basically these three towns into a, a triangular, a triangular oil mining operation, oil, oil mining, oil drilling operation. Anyway, the point is, is that we're going to need oil. We're going to need oil for all of the expensive aircraft that we're going to, that we're going to buy. Where's our first oil source? Our first oil source is like over here. Cool. Right in front of me over yonder. Yeah, so... Oil, fuel, all of that stuff is very, very important. Okay, wowzers, the contrast is even more challenging to see when you're when you're putting an oil well down. Uh, we, yeah, let's start with that. Oh yeah, we do need to build. We do need to build a construction office across here. We're gonna need to build a construction office. Do you want to build a big construction office? We might build a big construction office. Also, apparently, everyone was saying that the uh, the old houses, so every single old house has the ability to heat itself, so they don't technically need to be heated by the uh, by the heating by the heating plant. Uh, residents heat themselves, causing pollution, which is fine. You know, they they burn wood presumably, and and that is that. Uh, but it's not something that we need to worry about in the short term, anyway. Okay, so let's plonk down a huge construction office. I guess we might as well stick it across here. Uh, yep. Auto build. Brilliant. We'll get that down. Gonna cost us a little bit, but that's gonna allow us to do a little bit of terraforming out here and hopefully keep costs to an absolute minimum. Now, what do we need? What do we need... What do we need to start producing fuel? Well, we got a couple of options. We got a couple of options. First, let me buy, I don't know, like two excavators, two bulldozers. Fine. That's that's absolutely fine. And we'll just throw down a couple of pumps as well, just to make sure just to make sure that I know where the oil rigs are actually gonna go. Again, it's very, very blooming difficult to see. Let's actually go into two times speed. I feel like the sooner we can get out of winter, the better. The better for my for my brain. So that I can actually understand what's going on. Uh, also, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. We should be, we should be using our local, our local bulldozing crew. 
Excellent. Wonderful. Okay, so that's down. So that... Oh, God, it's so difficult to see. Uh, so that covers most of the good stuff, I think. Maybe if we stick another... Another oil rig in there. That's looking pretty good. This is all going to need to be connected to the road yet again. But that's fine. Okay, so that's so that's it. I don't really know. I don't really know. Uh, we built. We automatically built that. That's fine. Um, I don't really know the amount of oil that we're gonna get out of here. Let's see if we can try and link everything up. Let's see if we can try and link everything up. Just a single storage at the moment, I think, is absolutely adequate. Can't build you to infrastructure. What's the issue? What's the issue here? There's a there's a cheeky there's a cheeky road in the way. Right, well, let's let's build that in there. Let's get everything connected up via dirt roads, of course. I, I dread to think. I dread to think of what would happen if there was a fire in winter. I, I really, really do. Let's get the terrain averaged out a little bit here, and then we'll just connect it all up with roads. Anyway, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. The good news is, is that if we do want to build, if we do want to build an oil refinery around these parts, which, let me tell you, I categorically want to do. There, there is no point in just just getting oil, right? We need fuel, and we need fuel for a lot of stuff, and I would much rather, I'd much rather produce it locally than, uh, than import it at great expense, as I am doing at the moment. It's not a huge expense, but it's, it's fine. Um, it's fine for now, but, you know, we're, we're gonna want to change that. Can I, can I maybe see if we can tuck this road in here? Uh, there is latitude to make this, to make this work. Uh, yeah, you're not really, you're not really happy with the idea of descending this, this fast, are you, video game? No, you're, you're really, you're really not. You're really not. Let's see if we can try and tweak this, uh, a smidgeroonie. Yeah, okay. Anyway, the point is, the point is, is that, <laughs> long and the short of the story, is that we have access to, oh, brilliant, okay, we were able to, Trick the road into thinking that it wasn't as steep of an incline as it actually is. Excellent. I love when we're able to... I love when we're able to trick the video game. The point is, is that we can build a small refinery. We can build a small refinery. I do indeed think that I've got a mod for a small refinery. And uh, I actually think that a small refinery would be pretty darned excellent. Would be pretty darned excellent if we're, if we're going to be using a small number of... Uh, a small number of people to do the oil refining process themselves. Okay, so let's throw in a pumping station right over here. As many pumping stations really as we can. There's frankly no downside other than the obvious cost uh, implications of having numerous pumping stations. Uh, yeah, I think we'll consolidate. We'll consolidate to here if we can. That's going to be a horrific place to reconnect the the road actually. Let's throw that down there. Excellent. And continue to bring this down. It always surprises me. It always surprises me how ludicrously expensive steel is and how expensive uh, pipes are to build, therefore. Right. So that's good. So we consolidate all of our all of our oil into like one pumping station. Uh, you know what? We'll just we'll just go and build all of this. We'll actually just go and build all of this right now. Because at the end of the day, what I want to determine, what I want to determine is how much oil is this going to give us per day, right? I.e., are we going to be able to get away with building a smaller, uh, or indeed, do we have to build a larger oil refinery? And once again, I should say I shouldn't be paused because the, uh, the contrast is high. I wonder if we can scrape the snow from the landscape. I wonder if that's a thing that we can do. Uh, right, what's next? We need we need power. Power, 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 power. Power is somewhat of a problem? I say it's somewhat of a problem. It's not really somewhat of a problem. It's just very, very far away. Oh, gosh. It's just... It's so bright. It's so unbelievably bright. It's just so bright. It's so bright. Wowzers, look at all of that. Look at all of the look at all of the snow plowing that's going on and look at how much snow plowing still needs to be done. That's crazy. We we should properly designate like road tiers, right? So we need to we need to build asphalt roads on, you know, the main tributaries so that we can prioritize them more highly. That that does seem pretty important to do. 
fact, it seems very, very important to do. Otherwise, everything is going to grind to a halt. How's the university coming along, by the way? Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I think that we're hopefully able to maintain... We're hopefully able to maintain uh, enough... People are not able to participate in sports. Yeah, uh, we need to get a, a gymnasium down in Turistovsky. Yeah, that's that's pretty important. Ah, you know what? We'll worry about that later. That is a that is a problem for another day. Although I will say, I do freaking love. I just love watching the snow plows, dude. That's that's pretty incredible. Uh, cement plant is being built as well. Do I care about the cement plants? Well. We're investing a lot of money in this cement plant. And in fact, this area in general, we're investing a, a lot of money in. Anyway, that's kind of by the by. Let's let's do a little bit of high voltage wire. Let's do a little bit of uh, high voltage wire maintenance here. Don't mind me. Does it need to be the most expensive type of high voltage wire that we use to transport power? It doesn't have to be. But I do kind of like, I do kind of like having, you know, a future-proof setup. Also, I should get this built right now so that we don't inadvertently leave uh, half of our, half of our population without power. Yes, well, before I turned up, 100% of the population didn't have power. So, there we go. Do with, do with that what you will, comrade. Uh, where is my glorious town... Where's my glorious oil town triplicate? It's just over here. It's not actually that far. I'm making a big deal of how much it's going to cost me to... Cannot end above water. It, it won't end above water. Don't you worry. I'm making a big deal of how unbelievably expensive it's going to be to... To path all the way out here. But it'll actually be completely fine. Uh, 79,000 rubles. That's fine. We can absolutely deal with that. We can absolutely, absolutely deal with that. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a modded transformer. The reason that I'm going to use a modded power transformer is that the modded power transformer has got two high voltage inputs or outputs. Power inputs, outputs don't actually matter. Uh, but that means that I can just chain this forward if I need to at some point, And uh, it makes things just a heck of a lot easier to manage later down the road. So that's kind of nice. Also, I am aware that we probably need some technical services over here. Do I care? Not particularly. In the short term, we're probably not going to get this operation up and running before the end of winter anyway. Depends. When the heck is winter going to end, right? I mean, if it's a proper, if it's a proper, 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 like, Siberian winter, then, you know, this, this snow could be on the ground until, like, May. And if that's the case, I guess that kind of sucks. Um, and we're just going to have to, we're just going to have to make do with that. But I am not sure that it's going to be it's going to be around that long. Anyway, again, we'll just use the best of the best power cabling that we possibly can, just to ensure that this uh, this is future proofed. We're not drawing we're not drawing any of the workers from the village quite yet, or any of the three villages quite yet. Um, we just want to see we just want to see how much how much oil we're able to uh, to accumulate here. Uh, I didn't build that. Didn't build that. I didn't build that and. I didn't build that. Cool. All right. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Not very much. Not very much at all. Not very much at all. So, next question is, how much does the small oil refinery process? That's my question, comrade. Uh, duh, 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 duh. It is... Not a conveyor pipe slash engine. Ooh, Yes. That's the real question. Is it industrial? Ship dock? It's definitely not a ship dock. It's definitely not a shop. Definitely not a power plant. Although that is that is an interesting one, actually. The bitumen power plant or the large coal power plant. Maybe we should have just dumped down a large coal power plant. I don't think I've ever actually built a large coal power plant. We probably do want to do that. Uh, it's factory. That's what it is. Okay. So, small refinery. Consumption of maximum production is 10 tons of oil per day and it outputs five tons of fuel three tons of bitumen so i mean we could build it we could build it we probably should build it because there is no way there is no way that we're going to be able to to build a bigger one again the thing about the small refinery the thing about the small refinery is that it only requires 50 workers or requires a max of 50 workers 
Whereas the large one, I think it's 500 if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, let's get this leveled out. I'm not going to build it here, but I'm going to place it down just uh, just as like a point of reference, right? And then the large oil refinery. Yeah, it's 500 workers. 250 tons of oil per day. I mean, we are nowhere near that. I suspect, actually, we're probably very, very close to that 10 tons of oil per day. In fact, I think there is a way to see, isn't there? Domestic production and consumption. There we go. Okay, that's, that's real good. So, we simplify this to, like, start date 25th of December. And then we do minus. Can we not set the end date? Alright, we can't do that. 25th to the 27th, right? So, what's our production? Uh, consumption of resources, consumption of manpower. There we go. Okay, so oil... 40 tons or is that that's got to be tons right yeah that's got to be tons so that's not much that's not much but it is it is more than one singular plant can handle which means that we're going to need multiple plants that's not necessarily a problem it's not necessarily a problem at all we can we can absolutely deal with that uh where do we want to stick the small refinery and does the small refinery give off pollution i have got to imagine that it does right environmental pollution seven times uh, seven tons a year that's actually kind of nothing. What about the big one? I know that I'm sort of humming and hawing over this, but like, I've got to think of scalability as well, right? 34 tons a year. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Like a, a, good, a good central planner, like a good central planner, I'm only going to think of the resources and not about the workers. Let's plonk down. Let's plonk down an obscene amount of small refineries in the center of town. That way... All of my my glorious comrade friends uh, will be able to will be able to get to work super easily. It's you know I'm all about I'm all about making it easier for my comrades to work. Uh, is it better to do something like this? I actually think that it might be better to do something like that. Okay, so delete that, delete that. Try again, comrade. Excellent, and a small refinery here. And a small refinery here. Right. Okay. So this may seem uh, absolutely obscene. I can move this up a little bit. And I can delete that. Uh, but we're... We're going to have space for four. We're going to see if we can... We're obviously only going to build one at a time. But we're going to see if we can try and make this work. So three... Three at the moment will be planned. As I say, we'll only build one. We'll only build one because we're only probably going to need one. At least in the short term. But later, we will need more. We will need more. Okay, it's it's Kolovsky Skaya all over again. And I freaking love it. I freaking love it. Right, so we need a pumping station. We need a pumping station. And in fact, we could do with a pumping station. Maybe a modded pumping station, in fact. I don't even know if we've got... Uh, two pipes, two outputs. No, a forwarding pump. A forwarding pump actually doesn't really cut it. And a three into one... Yeah, you know what? I actually think that maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to get by completely adequately with the pipe pumping station that just splits here. The only issue is, the only issue is in my mind, the road connection. The only issue is in my mind the road connection, which is going to be just a little bit funky. So that's going to go down there. Cool. Again, difficult to see. Let me zoom in and just... Uh Make sure that we've got a good angle here. Then, pipe pumping station onwards. Let us move forward, comrades. So that's not too bad. I, I actually think that this house is probably... Probably the problem. Let's relocate these poor sods over to, uh, to Kolovsky Skaya. Just follow... Potato, just follow the cables that you just placed. Yeah, follow the cables that you placed. <laughs> it's just literally right over there. Cool. And then we demolish... Then we demolish this house. God, things are looking... Things are grim. Things are... Things are grim. Things are grim everywhere. Uh, things are especially grim in towns that we supposedly have already saved. Uh, anyway. Doesn't particularly matter. Now we can demolish this house here, right? That's the one. Excellent. We'll get that demolished. It's for the... It's for the good of the Republic, comrade. Alright. 
it's honestly it's pretty it's pretty hard to distinguish the difference between a gulag and just living uh so yeah enjoy kolovsky skaya right next thing that we're definitely going to have to do is a elevated an elevated pipe right over there and to be honest i know that if i don't make this an elevated pipe i'm gonna regret it so let's let's elevate this pipe just like straight away so that it's just a little bit easier to get roads you know pathways under here so let's build that that's looking really really good this is the one that we're going to build in the first instance these do not need to be connected to a road we don't need to worry about that although we actually may be able to mm, i think that's a little bit that's that's thinking a little bit wishfully let's just connect up the pathways let's just connect up the pathways excellent good stuff good stuff so that's probably going to be that's probably going to be good enough for now and we'll do something like that just make sure that there's a couple of pathways around town so that nobody can you know excuse themselves from working in the uh the oil refineries because they live too far away no siree not on my watch not on my watch comrades right and also before we actually go ahead and build anything remember 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 that there needs to be some forwarding stations on the other side here and that is something that i thought i left enough space for but clearly did not clearly did not um actually i think i think this is fine yeah so what we need to do we just need to build around the church right we just need to build around the church so what we need to do we need to come across this way we don't need to have different outputs it'll flow through the same pipe It'll flow through the same pipe as long as we have different storage areas. Again, making sure that all of our pipes are, are somewhat elevated so that we can try and get stuff under underneath. It's looking pretty good. That's nice. Wow, this town has just been completely taken over by by oil pipes. And I kind of love it. I kind of love it. I It's, you know, it's features like this that make... Uh, that make this workers and resources Soviet Republic series what it is. Right? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this house. Look at this house. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine waving to your neighbor underneath a very important oil pipe? Yep, that's right. Anyway. Oh, that's a that's a top tip on if you want to clear the roads, by the way. Just uh just zone a zone an oil pipe above. Anyway, uh, we're not going to build. We're not going to build everything. We don't need to build everything. Pads, I should probably just build like right now, given that they're you know dirt cheap and super easy to deal with. Uh, we should get some. We should get some technical services. We should get some technical services, and in fact, we should get some food services. Some food services would be good. Uh, I've zoned this for construction. I'm going to suspend construction. I'm going to build that. I'm going to build this. Basically, all of the utility. All of the utilities that we need to connect up this small oil refinery we are going to build. It only costs us 33 grand. I like that a lot, actually. Spend construction of that. Not a big deal at all. Obviously, we don't need to build the pipelines at this moment in time. That's completely fine. No workers. Buildings without a power supply. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Power. This thing that people seem to want. Well... There we go. You can't say that I'm not good to you. Residents of... Oh, yes. We need to rename this place, actually. Residents of nowhere. At the moment, anyway. A soon-to-be-named... A soon-to-be-named establishment. Or maybe this could be, like, one of those secret cities, you know? Because this is... Because this is producing... Producing a, a key resource... Maybe we could keep it secret. Keep it secret from the, the West. I mean, that sounds fair. However, we should probably we should probably keep it secret if it's uranium, not if it's like oil. Right? Okay, let's do let's do like the lamest of the lame uh, voltage wires. Because frankly, we do not need to worry. 
we do not need to worry about the quality of the power that we're supplying. I mean, not the quality of the power. The quality of the power is always the same. But we just don't need to supply that much power, I don't think. Okay. Come around the edge. Excellent. There is a more efficient way of doing this, I'm sure. It doesn't particularly matter. It's going to cost me 10 grand anyway, so... No big deal there. Right. Resources missing oil. Well, I mean, it's very, very simple. Very, very simple process of just connecting up... Of just connecting up this oil fuel storage to the uh to the area to the to the refinery what's the max length of an oil pipe i hear you cry i don't know let's find out well i do know the max length of an oil pipe it's uh it's not it's not far actually so we're undoubtedly gonna have to have an intermediate step and the only problem with that is that i want to make sure that it is within power range okay that's that's not gonna be a problem at all apparently right so pumping station Excellent. I love how flexible the uh, the oil pipes actually are. It's very, very nice. I think that we might just be able to... Oh, I did see the game turn a little bit laggy when it gave me a potential pipe option. Is that max length? That looks about max length, to be honest. That looks about max length. Can I... Yeah, that looks about max length, to be honest. That's uh, That's really, really good. Okay. Now, here's the real question. Are we going to be able to connect this up without another pumping station? Oh, we totally are. Okay, wow. That actually looks like it was planned. That was shockingly, shockingly good. Uh, I'm going to regret building this... I'm going to regret building this pipeline if I don't... If I don't build it above ground. I just... I just know that I am. I always do regret pipelines that I don't build, like, seriously elevated, but... Whatever. Uh, right, so build everything. This is, you know, frequently the most expensive part of the game, or one of the most expensive parts of the game. It's especially expensive when you have to build a big oil refinery. Thankfully, we're just making do with a small one, for now anyway. Look at that. Look at that. We are outputting fuel. That is wonderful. I haven't actually given the, the video game uh, a place to output the fuel to, uh, which is a bit of a problem. But... That's fine. Put this over here. It's difficult, actually, to see. What is the elevation of the land? Okay, all right. Just kiss goodbye to ever seeing the, the wireframe in the winter, uh, apparently. Yeah, we'll we'll just terraform the land a little bit. Don't need to worry about it too much. And whenever it stops, uh, stops snowing, we can, we can celebrate properly. Right, we'll get a splitter over here. Excellent. Again, we need to make sure that all of this is connected to a road network so that if it does catch fire, we can at least think about doing something. Whether we actually want to... Uh-oh. 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 I did a... I did a naughty. I did a naughty and clicked outside the, the realm of the the realm of the video game. And uh, the video game really does not like it when I do that. Uh, yeah, so we can at least think about, you know, fixing... Fixing up a fire station. If, if we think that it's... It's worthy. Okay. Sure. I'm going to build a low a low pipe, which I'm, again, almost certainly going to regret, but whatever. Right. Pause. Build. Build. Build these two tanks. And we'll just accumulate fuel for now. Need to make sure that as soon as... Okay. Bitumen and fuel. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Store this item. Store this item. I was really, really worried that, you know, we'd end up with a situation where, you know... Bitchman ended up in both tanks, and I'd have to faff around and waste a little bit of fuel. That hasn't happened, so that's so that's pretty darn great. Uh, is the oil in this tank going down, or is it continuing to in continuing to increase? It's actually holding roughly steady. It is continuing to increase ever so slightly, but I actually think that we've matched. I think that we've matched the production quite well. If we get a couple of additional workers, we might be able to we might be able to get fully on top of that situation there. So that's very very good. That's very, very good. I am very, very happy with that, actually. Like, remarkably, remarkably, remarkably happy with that. The fact that this town is a total and complete mess, uh, and I, I I, hate it, is... Well, I don't hate it, but, you know, the, 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 the footprint is very, very large. We've got a lot of these, uh, you, you know, horrible little, horrible little houses that are just... That are just chilling out in, in the middle of nowhere. 
uh, which is a little bit ridiculous, but whatever. Either way, we've got we've got oil, we've got fuel. Is it going to be enough fuel to sustain the entire empire? Probably not. Probably not, but it'll at least do for now. And as I say, what we do what we do later down the line is is very very standard. We just activate these these two additional small refineries, and that's going to take our oil production uh, from from X to three X, which is which is excellent actually. <laughs> excellent. Right, uh, let's get a kindergarten or two. Let's get a kindergarten or two. This is a great area, by the way. This is a great area to build. Okay, connect that up. I should be auto-building these, actually, because there's there's no real reason to... There's no real reason to worry about not spending money when we are providing for our glorious citizens, or even the less glorious ones. The less glorious ones, of course are all sent to the coal town, which I still cannot pronounce. Uh, I need to, like, demolish a few buildings here. Like, this is just ludicrous. The only thing is that I don't really want to... I don't really want to um, build any new houses, because otherwise I will have to provide... I will have to provide heating for those, uh, for those new houses, if indeed... If indeed I do build it. Build a small shopping center over here. Sure. Build that over there. Let's see if we can try and get some paths connecting up. Some other infrastructure's in the way. Cool. Uh, right. I mean, that's pretty good. Can we now branch out of here? Oh, we can. Right. Game still doesn't really seem to like that when I branch out of the same point, but... There we go. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. So we've got a store. we got a store. That's wonderful. What else do these... What else do these people need? Uh, unable to get food. Unable to visit church. I mean, the church should be accessible by most people. Also, we need to get technical services. I still haven't got technical services, and that is something that I absolutely should do. I presume that that speeds up walking as well. I presume that walking speed goes down if uh, if we don't clean the roads up. So let's get some technical services. I'm a little bit apprehensive actually about spending as much money as I'm probably about to spend on snowplows. But sure. In fact, you know what? Let's use the cheap snowplows. Let's not spend. Let's not spend uh, too much money on snowplowing. A thousand meters. Yep, we we won't uh, we won't overdo it. This will be a good this will be a good test really to see how many snowplows we need to completely clean this area up and keep it completely clear at all times. Uh, right. So that's education sorted. What else do we need to get? We need to get a couple of pubs down. A couple of pubs down. Gymnasium or two, perhaps. What about a pub right next to the to the oil refinery? Perfect place for a pub. Perfect, perfect, perfect place to a pub. Uh, for a pub to go. Right next to the kindergarten? Absolutely. 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 Great place. What about over here? Close, but no cigar. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. We definitely need to get a, uh, what, what's it called? A small shopping center over here as well. Good. And then, do we want to get a cinema? No. People can survive without entertainment, right? Just watch Orbital Potatoes YouTube video on Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. That's it. That's all that you need to do. If you're after not entertainment. Uh, right, let's do that. Okay, I will say the game doesn't really seem to like it when I when I build. Which is a which is a pretty big problem. There's a little bit of a lag spike every time I place down a road. Or delete anything. Ah, weird. Very, very strange. Uh, okay, just make sure that everything's connected so that we've got good access to facilities. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then this looks pretty good as well. May need to get a couple of small stores over here. But you know what? We can do that with a grocery store. A grocery store. And also a small store as well. Good stuff. I never usually build these things anyway, so we might as well might as well throw them down from time to time. 
Small refineries looking really, really good. Looking really, really, really good. I mean, we're hardly producing any fuel. We're hardly producing any bitumen. But it's good. It's good. It's it's good. It's progress. It's progress. The thing that worries me is that we are... We are basically entirely exploiting this resource slot. I mean, I'd really love it to not be winter anymore so that I can have another look at uh, at oil on the ground. There's like a patch here. It's a very, very faint patch. I don't think that we're missing anything else that's crazy. There's no source under the town. There is the other source sort of right behind this lake. Like over here. Yeah, there's another pretty decent source over here, actually. So we can probably double or thereabouts our oil production. And maybe that'll... Maybe that'll hit the, the demand fully for three small refineries. I think that it probably will. Either way, uh, everyone can kiss goodbye to, uh, to their life expectancy here. Because, I mean, you know, right next to a... Look at that. 52. And it's plummeting. It's absolutely plummeting. It's absolutely plummeting. Yeah, kiss goodbye to your to your life expectancy here, folks. It's it's going to be very very short, uh, but you will be remembered, and slowly but surely we'll redesign the town around, not just sucking people's life expectancy in. Also, something else that I am now just realizing is presumably our our trucks all need to drive very very far to get to get fuel, even though crazily enough we do actually have. Uh, the ability to supply fuel locally. So let's get a gas station over here. Let's get a gas station over here. We'll stick it, I don't know, on the outskirts of town or whatever. Sure, spend a thousand rubles on wasting money. That's fine too, I guess. Uh, now, 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 what I'm going to do, connect that up. Is it worth me right now linking this fuel supply up to the fuel supply? The fuel supply, not, not that one, distribution center at this point? I don't think it is. I don't think it, I don't think it is at the moment. I think that it's still better for us to purchase, with dollars, mind you, um, fuel at the border. Small amount of tourists due to low trip rating, 0 0.1 stars. Where are the tourists going at the moment? Please tell me that no tourists are actually getting to the beach. Building is closed due to bad weather. No, 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 comrade. No, 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 no. This is the, the, the prime moment to open the beach up. This is, we, we sell it as a, a winter experience. Santa at the beach. Santa like you've never seen him before. Soviet Santa at the beach. Behind the scenes. All right. This is looking good, though. This is looking good, apart from the fact that we're moving, like, very, very few workers into the... into the area. We're not doing too badly. Is this uh, Ferris wheel even connected up? You know what? I don't even... I don't even think it is. There we go. That should be fine. Okay, we did auto-build that. So that's gonna mean that construction offices are now able to be assigned, which is great. Uh, hotel's coming along nicely. It looks like we'll be ready for the... for the spring season. As crazy as that sounds. Airport is also looking pretty pretty exciting. Don't quite know what's going on with this taxiway over here. Ah, uh, it's probably just because it's not fully finished yet. We just need asphalt at the moment. And I would wager that we probably are getting very, very few employees coming along this, uh, this bus here. Yeah, we're getting very, very few employees driving along to the bus. Uh, why is that? Why is that? It's probably to do with just people atrophying. Yeah, people are just disappearing and uh, the reason why is the reason why is that I have no idea I have absolutely no idea I thought that I had supplied people with absolutely everything here even have heat I mean you know sure we got a couple of people that are that are still living living around here but nothing major uh, passengers are waiting. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should untick that, actually. Yeah, so don't don't have anyone waiting at the at the train station. We did build it, though, so that's kind of nice. Uh, Turistovsky Hospital is, is useless. Um, I 
think that this is going to require like a complete redesign of the town. And by a complete redesign of the town, I, I mean, I think that what we're probably going to have to do is just demolish the entire town completely. Because it is important. It is important that we have a, a source of workers. And at the moment, we've got a couple of students that are waiting to get transported, and that's it. What about over here? What about over here? Unable to visit a hospital, unable to participate in any sport. Sport is a big deal for people. Sport is a big deal for people, and yet, for some obscene reason, nobody is going to the gymnasium. Nobody is going to the gymnasium. I wonder if people know that they can get to the gymnasium. Because you do not think that you can. No kindergarten spaces. Kindergarten spaces shouldn't be a problem. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know how. I don't know how, but Kolovskysky seems to be seems to be doing absolutely fine, which is great. Uh, it just makes me just makes me wish maybe I'd uh, not completely thrown everyone in Turistovsky, you know, down the drain. Have I missed something like super obvious here? I mean, no, I've got kindergarten. I've got kindergarten. I've got shopping. I've got sports. I guess I don't have many gyms. I, in fact, I don't have any gyms. We got a cinema. Is there a temperature problem? Is it is it really a temperature problem that might have caused the issue? I think it might be actually. I think it legitimately might be. I think it might be a temperature issue. I mean, that presents us with an opportunity. That presents us with an opportunity more than anything, to be honest. That does present us uh, with an opportunity more than anything. I mean, it's too late to fix... It's too late to fix this year because everyone has already decided to leave. But in actuality, I don't think that I really care. Uh, I think that that's actually completely fine. And, and the reason being is that it's going to allow us to demolish a lot of these, like, old... Uh, these old... Uh, these old buildings anyway. New vehicle type available. Wow, a brand new ambulance. That's that's excellent. I'm pretty excited about that. That's that's really really great news. Burn the message. Yes, get rid of it. Uh, yes. Yeah, so it would be it would be pretty excellent. It would be pretty excellent indeed to get to get a complete redesign of Turistovsky. The reason being is that I really do want Turistovsky to provide all of the all of the workers for this area and at the moment we don't really we don't really have that we don't really have that we don't really have the ability to do that how's my oil uh, town going oil towns looking good again i just want to make sure residents heat themselves causing pollution we don't need heating at the small oil refinery which is great loads of people have left 15 workers without a job three children can't go to school because there is no school beg to differ nope i don't beg to differ video game you are entirely correct did I not put down a school over here? That's a huge abdication of duty. That really is. Uh, is there a space? Is there a space nearby? That's not bad. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that's quite a good space. Quite a good space. Let's uh, delete that. Delete that. Excellent. And maybe, just maybe, that can serve the entirety of the town. There we go. Good stuff. All right, what else? 15 workers without a job. Uh, 14 workers were unable to visit a hospital. Okay, I will do a surprising thing here. And I will, I will build a hospital. I'm not going to build. I'm not going to build a fire station yet, though. I'm not going to build a fire station yet. Why? I don't need to. I want to see, I want to, you know, some people just want to watch the world burn. Master Wayne. Okay. So, hospital, hospital's good. Excellent. Thank you, video game. And that should be everything, right? No. We still need a cinema and we also need culture as well. Okay, so I think, I, yeah, I think where we went wrong, where we went wrong was giving people, was giving people hope. Giving people hope that their home would be heated that their homes would be heated professionally and then not managing to heat it as much as we need to. The reason being the distance to the, uh, to the heating plant. Pretty much, right? Like, that's, that's, that's it, right? Is that it just literally reduces the, the heat after, uh, or the pressure, whatever, after, 
after a certain distance. So that's something to consider. That's something to consider. It's not something that we're going to make the, the same mistake with over here. We're actually just cresting back into positive, uh, positive temperature again. Building is too low. Building temperature is too low over here. That does strike me as a bit of a problem. And again, that is, that is going to be an issue. That is going to be an issue in all buildings that we built, actually. Again, I suspect that that probably, like, just seriously just drains people from the village, too. It's got to, right? It's got to. Nothing nothing drains people from... Nothing drains people from a village like uh, like death. Nothing drains people from a village like death. Seven tons a year? Okay. Small heating plant. Let's throw this down. Let's get this built. This is a this is a nice little blueprint actually. This is a nice little blueprint for that didn't that worked? I'm shocked. Very shocked. Uh, this is a nice little blueprint for how we maybe should do things going forward. I think maybe like localized small heating plants would be would be excellent. Of course, we can deliver the coal now via train as soon as we get a train network up and running. Uh, workers are missing. Don't worry about the workers. We got plenty. We got plenty of them. It's the only thing that we've got plenty of. The only thing that we've got plenty of. Okay. Come on. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Right. Missing resources coal. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do... I can't really... I mean, we are, like, almost right in the middle of the map here. What's the border? What's the border over there? That is... It's such a lot of money. It's such a lot of money, but you know what? We're gonna do it anyway. Okay, we're gonna auto-import coal here. I really hate to do this, but long-term... That won't be the case. Okay, let's let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So people now, people now have an expectation of of heat, and I do believe the temperature should increase. Temperature should increase. Excellent. Temperature should increase. Wonderful. Temperature should increase. Building temperature is too low. It's in. It's increasing though. It's increasing, and when it increases. People don't die. People don't get sick. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Let's buy some uh, some ambulances, eh? We'll buy some cheap ambulances. Four ambulances, because there are so many sick people. Uh, do we have a road connection here? We do not have a road connection here. It's a good thing that I checked. Is that a fire that I that I see emerging? Oh wow! It's almost like I chose not to build. Ah. Okay. That's a very important very important connection uh it's a very important place only issue is that our fire trucks kind of don't have any firefighters which is which is great but also kind of terrible uh right okay so the way that we fix the way that we fix uh Turistovsky is by building a similar sort of heating plant we're gonna build a heating plant like literally right over here in this vicinity. Right behind the university? It doesn't need to be right behind the university. It needs to be somewhere near. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Right in there. 60, 61k. Big investment, but, I mean, absolutely worth it. Ha however, 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 however. Where is the input? Where's the coal input? Coal input's over there. Okay, so we can get a... Uh, we can get a small aggregate storage over here, probably. Yeah. Can't build you to infrastructure. Needs flat terrain. No, I, I appreciate the need for a flat terrain uh, video game. I just kind of thought that I'd maybe be able to flatten it out. Okay, there we go. If we have to do it manually, we have to do it manually. Thankfully, we've got a whole bunch of uh, depots reasonably nearby. Yeah, so, I mean, look. Learning experience, again. It's worth uh, it's worth repeating. This is my first this is my first time with the heating elements in the game, and uh, you know so far I actually like them. I think this is this is very very cool. I really really like the seasons. Uh, I like the fact that they changed the they changed the play of the game so completely. Very very cool indeed. 
Uh, that's gonna auto build. That's gonna auto build, and that's gonna auto build as well. We've spent an obscene amount of money over the course of this episode, but I mean, what's new, eh? What's new? And then basically, all we need to do is delete this this pipeline here, and then instead replace replace uh, replace the output from here with the output from here. So that's what we're gonna do. Anyway, let's head back to let's head back to Oil Town. I don't want to deal with uh, with Turistovsky altogether too much over the course of this episode. Uh, that's for the next episode. Okay, the plant looks good. This is this is excellent. We have a a hot hot hot, a hot 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 town. Every important building, every important building is being heated. Every important building is being heated. Yeah, even even the the kindergarten and whatnot. That's right on the, the, the boundary, really, uh, and that's being dealt with absolutely fine. Visit a hospital, participate in sport. Yeah, we need to get a gym... Deep breaths. 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 Just keep breathing deeply, potato, so that you don't, uh, so that you just don't, uh, end the series, end the game. <sighs> oh, boy. That, that, that's a, all of the vehicles in that building were probably worth... I don't know. How much is a Maz truck worth? How much is a Maz dumper? It's worth 31 grand. There were a lot of... There were a lot of Maz dumpers in that building there. Um, at least 10. That was at least 300,000 rubles worth of Maz trucks. And all of the other concrete mixers as well. Which I think are worth like 12. They're worth seven. <sighs> I reckon there was easily 500,000 rubles worth of trucks in that building there. Oh. Oh, I think I've got to go and have a lie down. Oh, well, you know what? In in good news, in good news, we did manage to finish building the, uh, the oil town. I'm actually really, really happy with this area. You know, completely disregard the fact that, um... We had that uh, awful, awful burning down uh, of that construction office there. Disregarding that, we actually have a pretty good supply of, uh, of fuel, and we have a pretty good supply of bitumen. We got a whole bunch of fuel, uh, or a full bunch of oil that is accumulating in the oil storage over here. Pretty happy with that. We got a roadmap on how we want to improve the, the town. We've got a pretty good town. We got a, a really, really nice looking town, actually, with a, with a whole bunch of, uh, of stuff going for it. There's a couple of things that we need to fix up in this place, but you know what? That can be dealt with after my 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 deep and cleansing sleep. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. If anybody in the comments mentions the burning of this building, you will be sent to the Gulag. We are going to be covering this up, okay? Nobody, nobody mentions this. Nobody. I don't want to see reference to it even slightly, okay? Not a single person. Or you and your family will be sent to the Gulag. Ladies and gents, thank you ever so much for watching. Thanks to the support over on the Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash open potato. Thanks to Banana Nananas, C Senpai, and Aurelio for being the three $25 plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.